gorgeous today, by the oh. way. <laughs> That's <You> very. Do <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need to take that? Um, uh, no, it's fine. <laughs> All right. Hey, babe, it's me. I know it's pretty late there, so you're probably already asleep. Yeah. That's good, you know? Yeah. Moment to moment connection, that's what it's all about. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to call and say that I love you and I miss you. Um, alright, I'll call you tomorrow. Yeah, sorry, I was out for a drink. Nice. With who? A friend, colleague from work. That's fun. I'm glad you're making friends there. Yeah. I really miss you. I miss you too. Is it gonna be like this forever? Us doing long distance? No, it won't be forever. Is the transfer to the New York office gonna go through soon? Well, that's, uh... Part of why I was calling, um, it wasn't approved. Found out yesterday. But I can always get another job or make the request again in a few months. Yeah, I guess. Uh, hey, I gotta go. <laughs> a long day ahead. Call you later? Yeah, yeah, I love you. Love you too. Hey man. Hey man. Some of the guys in there are gonna shoot some hoops this weekend. You wanna join? I would, but it's Jamie's birthday. I'm gonna fly out and surprise her. I don't know how you two do it, man. All that flying back and forth and the FaceTime calls. It has its ups and downs, but uh, you know, we're making it work. Yeah. Good for you. No offense, but if I were in a long distance relationship, I think I'd just be worried about the other person cheating on me all the time. Maybe with other people, but uh, I'm not worried about that. I mean, we've been together for two years. I know we'll make it. Cool, man. I'm happy for you. Thanks, man. <laughs> you had a real hot. Um, I've actually never tried that. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. It feels, it feels like, like this. Greg! 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 Greg, wait! Greg, I, I didn't do anything, it's not what it looks like. What is it then? I've been nothing but good to you this whole time. I haven't even once thought about cheating, and here you are. But I didn't do anything wrong! You know, I thought something was up. You started ignoring my calls and acting weird on the phone, but I gave you the benefit of the doubt. Guess I was wrong. Will you listen to me? No, I think I'm gonna listen to myself now. See everything all right out here? Yeah, we're fine, Adam. Greg, please. <laughs> Greg, wait! Hey, why don't you come back inside? Looks like you could need a drink. Hey Greg, it's me. Look, nothing happened between me and Adam. He's just a co-worker and we've been spending a lot of time together because of work. What Adam did at the party was totally inappropriate and I told him not to do that again and I'm only seeing him just as a co-worker and he's just a friend.
love you. Call me back. Morning. Mm -hmm. I sleep. Slept good. good. How did you sleep? When a relationship isn't going the way you had expected, you may find yourself tempted to immediately put an end to things. Whether you're struggling to make a long distance relationship work, find yourself attracted to someone new, or are having a hard time making space for your partner, you may see this as a sign that it's time to end it. But if you're in a loving partnership, it is important to take a step back and evaluate these things in the greater context of your relationship. Are they stop signs or temporary bumps in the road? If after your evaluation you find that these are short-term hurdles, first accept that no relationship is easy and that struggles are normal. It's what we do in the face of these struggles that determines the outcome. It may be helpful to reframe challenges as opportunities to reevaluate your relationship with your partner and make sure that both your needs are being met. While taking responsibility for our role in things can feel uncomfortable in the moment, know that it's a key ingredient in every successful relationship. So long as both sides are still willing to work on improving and nurturing the relationship, there will always be a better chance of having a happy, fulfilling partnership. Next, set up a clear action plan for the future in which you come to a mutual understanding of what you need to do individually and collectively to move through these challenges. Maybe you need to set aside uninterrupted time for yourselves as a couple, or perhaps you need to have more frequent check-ins. Remember for this to work, both sides must see these as steps they can take to elevate the relationship. Finally, know that despite what we're often told, no relationship is completely easy or free from problems. Shift your thinking to how can we make this better instead of how do we prevent this from failing. No matter how tempting something may be in the moment, sacrificing long-term happiness for short-term satisfaction can bring about regrets and is rarely worth it. If you want even more videos just like this one, make sure you subscribe and click on the boxes over here. I'm also excited to let you know that you can now get my book, Think Like a Monk, from thinklikeamonkbook.com. Check below in the description to make sure you order today. Um.